The word subscribe doesn't only apply to YouTube channels. So yes, of course I have the magazines. I'm the kind of person that pay... Uh, actually, I don't pay that much because I got it through, like, the Tesco club card voucher thing. So I only pay, like, £13 a year for 13 issues. So it's great. It's a great magazine, and it's got a brilliant Venn diagram in there. You know, just just top, top-notch top Venn diagram. I have several things I want to talk about in this video. Uh, one of them being a new band I discovered. Like, I should have discovered it a long time ago. Um, because I've been a fan of its one of its key components for quite some time. Um, and it's Driftless Pony Club, you know Wheezy Waiter, it, it's his band, and they're like amazing, I just searched them on Spotify, and it's genuinely like amazing music. So uh, check that out, because that's just brilliant, just amazing. Another one, Halloween's approaching, so, you know, what are you doing for Halloween? Next week, if, if anyone's got their costumes ready, then they should wear it for the video. Um, just because that'll be fun, that'll be like a fancy dress week. So if you don't want to dress up or you haven't like prepared a costume, then don't bother. I hope to have it ready by then, even though I probably won't because I'm going away to Liverpool on the weekend, so I'll eat into my time. Yeah, the costume I'm pretty sure I'm doing is cloning Charlie. I cannot pass up that opportunity. Like, it's Halloween and Charlie was in a costume a few weeks ago and Yes, so that's going to happen. Um, I'm probably going to dye my hair red, like, you know, like, wash in, wash out kind of stuff. Uh, it's not going to be permanent, so don't get too happy. Another costume idea I have is to go as the, as the Sons of Admirals. Um, so I'll have, like, different kind of components from everyone. Like, I'll have, like, blue hair, brown hair, red hair, uh, a lip stud, just, like, bits of the members. If that makes any sense, it's gonna. I'm not sure what white it will look like yet, but hopefully I can put that together without too much expense. Uh, like something I want to ask people is, uh, like, if you get any tattoo, what would it be? Because um, Sam mentioned it in a vlog. You all know Sam. Everyone knows Sam. If you don't know Sam, you're missing out. And I'm not a huge fan of tattoos. Like, I, I, yeah, they're all right, but um, like this isn't a tattoo, by the way. This is a. Uh, this is something to remember physics. So, uh... <laughs> yep. It's, can we find mad dogs left tethered under trees? Yep, that's for remembering forces, everyone. Anyway, back to tattoos. The one tattoo I have ever genuinely considered getting... Like, I wouldn't get some, like, Chinese symbol on my arm, because that looks dickish. But, um... One thing that I have considered is getting the word Andy written on the bottom of my foot. Which, if you don't understand, then you haven't had a childhood. I'll get that right across the bottom of my foot, and I'll be very happy with that. Um, th that's been in my brain for like a couple years. Like I mention it, and someone be like, "That's a stupid idea," and then other people will be like, "Oh my god, you have to do that." So you know, I'm still undecided on that front. Uh, plus, I don't think I'm legally allowed to get one, so you know, I'll have to wait a year or so. Tattoo done. Halloween done. Uh, Driftless Pony Club, done, and O&M, done. Tara and Nyla, I'll see you tomorrow. Also, I understand that you're dressing up as a baby for Halloween, or at least at your next gig. Explain, please. 